Hey guys, what is going on? Crunchy here and welcome back to another video and today I'm finally bringing you another money making guide which I haven't done for ages, I think I've only made a few this year but like I mentioned in the last video I am going to be getting back on those, trying to make more at least once a week from now on so yeah, this is another one, let's get into it. So today's guide is based on the Aviancies method now I know that a lot of you have already been there, there's been a lot of guides on these already in the past but for this video I thought that I'd give you an updated insight on how much money really you could be making by killing these right now. So this video can be classed I guess as a slayer guide in some respects, maybe even a killing guide because you can see what gear I'm wearing, what inventory setup I have, stuff like that. Uh, it's just my personal one that I use so it's not the best and not claiming it is, uh, but obviously if you think it's an upgrade to yours feel free to use it for inspiration stuff like that it's pretty standard but for me i find that it does the trick so first up is the inventory setup it's raining outside and i'm really sorry if that affects the audio in this video uh, but hopefully it's all right and i can make it disappear somehow uh, but for me i just take a super restore flask two prayer pots some shark i did take way too many in this video before i get comments on that uh, but obviously if you're a lower level then you might need to take this many and i also carried my beast of burden which is a war tortoise if you don't have a war tortoise take whatever one you have if you don't have one it's not that big of a deal because most of the items dropped are noted anyway so it's not really that big of a deal doesn't really take up that much room in your bag anyway so it doesn't really matter and the final item is climbing boots you have to take these unless you have the teleport to trollheim i believe it is and the climbing boots as i'm sure most of you know are just to give you access to climbing over the rocks on the path Moving on, we have my gear setup. Personally, I wear full armadale as my armor because for me, I find it pretty good for defense. And of course, with the full set, you do get the extra set defense bonus, which is always nice. And I also take a Zamorak stole to stop myself getting attacked uh, by other followers, unless of course I accidentally attack them. Uh, for weapons, I use the dual Kareel's pistol crossbows with bolt racks. This can be pretty pricey, so if you don't have that much money, alternative weapons can be used. And obviously, if you don't have the level for it, use whatever one you can obviously use. The last few things I take are my Ring of Wealth just to sort of boost my luck a little bit and also my Vampirism Aura to help my defence further as well. Like I said this isn't the best setup but I'm not trying to say it is, I'm just pretty much showing you guys what I personally use. For me I find it effective for the level I am which is 132 plus my combat levels which are in the 90s so I have been using this setup for a while now uh, even when I wasn't 132 but still up to now it's proving to be pretty good so that's just my opinion on it but obviously if you have a different way then that's fine as well all right so moving on to how you get there most of you already know this just in case you don't know here's like a quick map out of what path to take just to get there it's pretty easy once you've done it one or two times but like I said if you guys haven't, then this is obviously hopefully going to help you see what way to go and stuff like that. Just a tip which I personally find pretty easy is if you want like fast transport to get there, move your house to the Fremenic province and then use a house teleport and then just run the rest of the way just to save you running further. That's just my opinion. That's what I do. Once you're in the Godwalls dungeon, head south until you get to a bridge. You'll most likely get attacked here on the way, but it isn't really anything to worry about because it's not going to hit you hard as you can see on my character. Once you're at the bridge, you want to click on the deep chasm to so teleport over to the other side. And this is where you'll be killing the avian seas. You can pick the first spot, which is just over the bridge you'll see me get to. And I'll kill a few there for you guys just so you can see. Or you can just go further, which I believe is west on the map, which I'll show you in just a second. But the first location I think is better if you're a lower level because there are less avian seas there, uh, less other spiritual mages, stuff like that. that can attack you uh, so obviously if you're a lower level you want more time to be potting up you want more time to eat food I personally recommend this place uh, but for me I prefer the other area just because there's more avian seas and for my level I find kills a lot faster and a bit more convenient but then again it depends on your level and what you're happy with personally so the main item here to pick up is the noted adamant bars the drop rate on them is random sometimes they'll spawn every four to five kills the next minute they could be spawning every kill for a few avian seas that you do kill it all depends but in this video as you'll see within the time I was recording it I did get a mixture of them being rare to a mixture of them being easy to get so it obviously just varies between each trip that you do so after just 10 minutes of killing these this is the loot I have managed to get so far you can make more money by picking up the feathers and water runes that you get every single kill but for this video I just thought I'd show the main loot and what you can really expect to make if you're just going for the adamant bars or the higher price loot I did manage to get some runite limbs here as well which is pretty cool and also some blood runes stuff like that which are a bit more pricey than the stuff you normally get so yeah that's the type of stuff you can be looking out for and as you can see I've made just a bit over 155k the gold ore was from these spiritual rangers so you can either count that or not sometimes you accidentally use an ability which hits other monsters as well so you know you could end up actually getting some extra loot 
Uh, but regardless, you can make around 150 to 160k in about 10 minutes. Just under that is how long I was recording for. And yeah, this can of course vary depending on your combat levels, if you have people helping you where you are, stuff like that. So per hour, you can be looking to make around 930 to 1 mil, which isn't crazy. But considering that it is for a lower level player, it's pretty easy to do. It's a nice amount of money. It pretty much guarantees you decent profits per time you go here, regardless of how long you stay for. I come here sometimes and, you know, just make some quick money if I need to make something for skilling or something like that so if you're a decent level you think you can do this I definitely recommend it if you haven't already tried it out of course if you have and this is just an update on how much money you could roughly be making right now obviously if you are a high level like I've said you can make more than this which would be pretty awesome if you're a lower level then maybe slightly less but on average this is how much you're making so yeah guys that pretty much concludes today's guide hopefully you have enjoyed it like always thank you so much for watching hopefully you did find it somewhat useful and make some money from this I know like I told you guys it isn't the best setup but it's what I use and I find it really effective for me so so if you want to take some tips from it feel free to do that if you want me to make a video on a different money making method again leave it down there as well and i'll definitely get around to looking at it and making it if you did enjoy the video guys leave it a massive thumbs up and subscribe for more and thank you so much for watching again and i'll see you in the next one